there is a lot of buzz about Lil Wiz right now. So instead of making a face check app review like I said I would be doing for like months now, I will be reviewing Lil Wiz instead. Besides, face check is basically a scouting report, and if you watch more of the videos on this channel, you will know that every app I have ever reviewed has some sort of scouting report, and the ethics of that are morally ambiguous. So face check is getting pushed back again at this point. It is a bit of a running joke on the channel. So Lil Wiz, your time has come. For those of you who do not know, Lil Wiz is a third-party app for League of Legends powered by Overwolf. A healthy reminder that Overwolf is a heavy app and can slow down your machine. Keep that in mind when using any Overwolf product. And in addition, always check to see what apps are running in the background. I've had like four third-party apps running at once during a League of Legends game because I didn't know, and all these things started up when the game started because, you know, reasons. As I start in on this review, do me a solid and slap chop the like button if you do enjoy the content, and consider subscribing if you are new. We are a smaller channel and would love the support. Full Deck Gaming posts new League of Legends videos every Friday, and there is a lot of exciting things coming to this channel as the new season approaches. I will be reviewing Skill Capped and seeing how well my League of Legends skills improve with it. So if you want to get better at League of Legends but do not know about spending the money on Skill Capped and you don't know if it's worth it, smash the subscribe button and I will be able to inform you on that based on my own personal experience. Lol Wiz is obviously short for League of Legends Wizard, but as I read it, I keep reading it as Lol and Wiz. So I'm going to absolutely botch the name for the rest of this video because I think it's amusing. When I decided I was going to review this app, I had no idea what it was about. I've used it for two games by itself. I didn't use Mobilytics Poor Professor of Blitz for the gameplays. I wanted to get a feel for just what Lol Wiz really has to offer. And let me tell you, I love it. Keep in mind that this app does not have the firepower of Blitz with its overlays, Poor Professor with its charts and graphs, or Mobilytics with its in-game champion analysis. Lulwiz is not meant to be all of that. Lulwiz is small, it is simple, it is perfect for what it is meant to do for League of Legends. This app is not meant to break down every tiny aspect of the game. This app is meant to help you play the game without being in your face about it. It gives you some information in a direct and obvious way. Keep in mind that at the bottom half of the app is ad space and you're going to have to pay to remove that. However, this app is not meant to be in your face. This app is the bassist in the band who stands in the back and just lays down a thick bass line and doesn't really get in your face about it. He's just there, he looks cool, he does his job, and everyone loves him for it. I will get into the pre-game, during game, and end game real soon. However, I want you to take a look at the gameplays. Each gameplay clip that you see was clipped by Lol Wiz. This app will clip your highlights, kills, deaths, assists, victory, everything and it does this for each game, you'll see what I mean in a minute. This app is perfect for League of Legends content creators. I no longer have to clip an entire 40 minute game and comb through it looking for any highlights. I will still have full length gameplays when I start using skill capped because I want to show how I improve. However, this app has saved me so much time on this gameplay because it clipped everything for me. So as you can see, League of Legends is on the left and Lol Wiz is on the right. Lol Wiz allows you to pick the highest win rate and highest pick rate for runes with your specific champion. As you can see, I did import these runes. Below that, there are counter tips for each champion selected by the enemy team. There is a band tab where it tells you the good bands for your champion and role, good bands for your role, and good meta bands in general. These are based strictly on the win rates and give you the information you need based on that alone. It does not give you information such as ban Ramus as Master Yi because that guy will taunt you and then, well, it's over. None of that. This is straight to the point and very direct. When you hover over the ban suggestions, it will spit out the win rate that is literally under the champion symbol. A little redundant in my opinion, but whatever. This app has your stats page for the last two weeks, champions, game played, good picks since the patch, etc. Beneath the runes you can choose in the picking stage, there are a few counter tips for each champion that you are playing against. It isn't as in-depth as Senpai or Blitz, but it's a few quick tips. Lulwiz is not trying to be like Poor Professor or Blitz, its interface is small, it is like a third the size of the League of Legends app. This app is clearly meant to be a background app, and it is phenomenal at it. During the loading screen, you have the option to pull up the scattering reports on players and champions you are playing against, as well as build guides and skill order suggestions. This feature is pretty similar to all the other apps that I talked about on this channel. 
The scouting report does give out some good information as you can see, however I cannot speak to how accurate this is. It says that this was my first game of the day, and it was not, this was my second game of the day, so the player tags are not perfect. Check out this post game. it gives some match stats for everyone as well as a total of the team, so you can see just how far behind in gold your team was as a whole. My only issue is that it claims that Hecarim building tank did more damage than the ADC. Not sure how accurate these numbers are, it claims I had 22 minions, it does not say 22 CS, which is a good distinction to make. In order to play a recording, all you need to do is look at the scroll bar on the left in the last 10 games. You can watch any replay of something happening at the click of a button. I love this. You can share it on Discord and Twitter instantly, as well as show in which folder these recordings are stored. These will take up space very fast. Take that to heart. As someone who makes YouTube videos and never deletes anything, you will run out of disk space very quickly if you do not do some cleanup on occasion. If you are a content creator, I highly recommend trying out LulWiz, as it will make getting clips completely hassle-free. I like this for a lot of reasons, and the parts that I do not like are really obsolete because I have the big gun apps that take care of those aspects for me. That being said, I think this is enough for today's video. If you are new here, consider subscribing. We are a smaller channel, and every subscription means a lot to us. Full Deck Gaming posts new League of Legends videos every Friday, and I want you to be a part of it. I will see you on the next one.